Hello, I'm Caitlin Jenkins, the Family Law Vlogger, and this is a vlog in the next of our Stages of Divorce series. So today we're going to be looking about how you find a solicitor if you come to the conclusion that your marriage is at an end or you're thinking that it might be over and you need to try and find a solicitor. So how do you find a specialist family solicitor? Well, I think the first thing is to think about what you want and what you need. So what sort of solicitor do you think is going to help your case? Do you need somebody local or are you not that fussed about it being local? Uh, is there some a particular expertise that's going to be needed to help you? So, for example, are there some complicating factors like there's some mental health or addiction issues in the family that are going to need some specialist knowledge? Are there some uh, particularly complicated as aspects of the finances? For example, do you have a business or a family business or, or is there an international element that means the solicitor who helps you is going to need that expertise? So have a think about the sort of uh, solicitor that you want and also about the sort of approach you want them to take. And that links into the second point, which is to find a solicitor. Think about asking around. So, yes, ask friends or family if they've had a divorce or separation and who they've used and what their experience has been. But also ask about the approach that that solicitor has adopted. Have they had a sort of one type of approach that, that they insist on adopting or they've been flexible to adapt to the needs of a particular client? Ask friends and family if they've had divorce lawyer experience and also ask other professionals. So, for example, if you have an accountant or you have dealings with another solicitor or other professions who you may think have had dealings with family lawyers or, or, or um, lawyers who help people who are separating, see if they've got any views. I suppose the third thing you can then do is do your own research. So have a look online, have a look up the, the firm's website for the solicitor that's been recommended. See what the tone of that website is, the sort of support they provide. Do they litigate? Do they help with mediation? Do they arbitrate? What's their approach? You can get quite a good feel for the sort of approach a solicitor or firm are going to adopt from their website. And also, are they a member of Resolution, which is the National Association of Family Lawyers? You can have a look on the Resolution website and try and find a member that's local to you. And Resolution members specialise in helping people through divorce. So it's, it's the core of what they do as opposed to just an add on to something else that they do. And then I suppose the final tip would be try and speak to the solicitor before you instruct them. Most solicitors, before you actually um, instruct them formally, will have an initial chat with you or an initial meeting with you for 20, 30 minutes, usually over the phone, if it was talking to me, to just understand a bit more about your circumstances, what it is you're worried about, whether we or I are the right people to help you or whether you want the sort of help that we can provide or, or need that help. So try and see whether you can have an initial conversation for free with the, with the lawyer you're interested in or the firm that you're interested in and then pull together the threads of your thoughts. So what it is you feel you need in terms of support, the sort of feedback that you've been able to obtain from that firm or, or, or that lawyer from friends or colleagues or professional contacts or from uh, websites, and then your initial feel from having a chat with somebody as to what they think the expertise is that you need before you settle on a, on a particular solicitor or a particular firm. So that's some thoughts about how to go about finding a solicitor. Uh, there'll be another vlog shortly about uh, what you should do to prepare for an initial meeting with a solicitor when you're actually having that uh, more substantive discussion about the issues that you're facing and what help you can need. As always with the Family Law Vlog, this is just initial thoughts and, and top tips. But if you need advice in your specific circumstance, then please do contact me. My details will be underneath this vlog or one of my other colleagues in the specialist Mills and Reed family and children team. Thank you.